Literally three ingredients, takes just a couple of minutes to prepare and this is an absolutely delicious chicken dinner recipe. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. This is honestly a recipe I do every now and then because it's so simple, so easy and so delicious and it takes three simple ingredients and literally takes just a couple of minutes to prepare at the most. So join me today as I make my version of a crock pot Hawaiian chicken. Now for our first ingredient, we're going to start off with one standard can of pineapple. Now you want to use diced pineapple, but in my area I actually find it about a quarter of the price just to buy the sliced one and just dice it up myself. So if you, have, if you want to buy diced, buy that. Saves a couple of minutes, probably a minute at most to be honest, and just cut it up until we get to a diced consistency. And also make sure you've also drained all the liquid out as well. You know what, on second thoughts, it's better to use a chopping board. <laughs> Okay, so with our diced pineapple now in our bowl, what we have to do now is just simply add in 16 ounces, 450 grams, or one and a half cups of barbecue sauce. And just give that a good mix to combine. Now it might seem like a weird combination, but trust me, it works beautifully. And now we have the obvious, and that's our crock pot or slow cooker. Both the same thing, just different names. So just in the base of our slow cooker, we're going to just place in a little bit of our mixture, just so we can coat the base. And then on top of that, just add in our chicken breast. Now you can do between four and six breast halves. I prefer to do six, that way I can freeze some for later on. And then on top of that, it's just a simple matter of pouring on the rest of our mixture, a lovely barbecue and pineapple mixture. Just make sure all the chicken's coated and give the rest of the chicken a bit of a stir just so every bit gets coated in that mixture. Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, all you have to do now is simply, depending on how long you want to cook it, personally I prefer long and slow, but three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low. So it's perfect to set up before you go to work and it'll be ready by the time you get home. But of course you can have it on the shorter time, but it's always better when it's nice and slow. Okay, so it's been eight hours. Let's take this lid off and, oh, that smells delicious. What I really love about using a slow cooker or a crock pot is it just fills the house with that lovely, delicious slow cooked smell. And check this out. Oh, look how easy that comes apart. No effort whatsoever. That is perfect. This is melt in your mouth chicken. Now believe it or not, just those three ingredients really do work perfectly. Feel free to season it with some salt and pepper if you choose. Personally, I just like just a little bit of salt because the flavors are already there. It just works. So you can have it as is, or you can serve it on a bed of rice or with a side of vegetables. But either way, this Hawaiian chicken recipe is going to taste simply delish. 